hello from slide nerd and hello from waves in the last vid i showed you guys how to put stuff together with numbers and stuff in this vid we are gonna go ahead and put some spaces with these patterns all right so if you guys observe something again you will find this that the first line has three spaces next one has two third one has zero then zero then one two three all right so if we can generate these numbers somehow then we can put those spaces using a for loop and then we are done so let me go ahead and net beans and complete what we started so here in net beans i have the same project which is not modified at all i have everything first it was asterisk then i made a way to generate these numbers at the start by saying one two three four by saying start is i start is eight minus i then i also made a way to decrease and increase the things as per the middle column right so now we are gonna le we are left with putting nothing but the spaces over here there are three spaces in the first starting right so i'm gonna say int number of spaces is three in the beginning right and first remember the spaces come before the numbers spaces come before the numbers spaces come before the numbers remember that one and so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna say before this i'm gonna say four remember since they come before the numbers i'm gonna say j equals to one j less than equals number of spaces j plus plus all right i'm gonna say system dot out dot print i'll put the spaces here right one space and this is gonna print as many times as there are number of spaces initially there are three over here as you guys can see so let me go ahead and run this control s shift f6 now here is the problem since we took the number of spaces as three the for loop is going this for loop is going to print each space three times and that's it right three over here three over here three over here but that's not what we want first we want three then we want two then we want one right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say uh, something like this i'm going to decrease the number of spaces after each time it is printed so i'm going to go here and i'm going to say number of spaces number of spaces minus one right I'm decrease I'm gonna decrease the number of spaces so I'm gonna say control s shift f6 as you guys can see we have got half the pattern but remember after the fourth row that is this row we need to increase the number of spaces here it becomes one here it becomes two here it becomes three right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say something like this I'm gonna take this if else cut paste this below this for loop all right and now here inside the if else i'm going to say something like this if the number if the current row if you guys can see this is the fourth row right before the fourth row we want the number of spaces to decrease over here it's 3 it's 2 here 1 it so we are going to say if i less than 4 number of spaces should be decreased otherwise it should be increased so let me go ahead and run this control s shift f6 at this point you guys can see bam that's our diamond we are done guys so now let me go ahead and show you the relationship between the different things i know this is a pretty complex piece of code but if you see the widths separately you'll understand completely what's going on uh, if you have if you haven't seen the earlier widths i would urge you to check those two widths out here's the thing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the complete code first so here this is the complete piece of code it's a massive complex program if you guys can see it it's pretty simple but you can you need to use some tricks and you can get this done so now since we talked about the size of seven i'm going to talk about an arbitrary size over here i'm going to say int size equals to seven right in that case where we had seven i'm going to put size now what do i put over here it's three size by two over here all right remember seven by three is two in java it's 3.5 in maths if you take integer division in java that is the case here number of spaces fine if i less than four now four is nothing but size by two which is three right plus one that's what that's what four is eight is nothing but size plus one right again over here four is gonna be nothing but size by two plus one right so let me go ahead and run this and see if i get the same thing i'm gonna maximize the output screen first control s shift f6 as you guys can see that's completely same but now if you put a size of 9 over here control s shift f6 you guys can see it's printing for 9 if you print something like 29 over here control s shift f6 it's going to be massive and it's going to look completely out of order with all these 10s and 11s coming in between so at 17 is the max diamond size you can print without distorting this thing it looks perfect till 17 after that you have these 10s and 11s coming out right so if you can go ahead ask the user for the input let me go ahead and put a buffered reader in this 
All right, guys. At this point, what I have is I have asked the user to enter the size. I have a buffered reader for taking input from the user, and I take that inside this variable called int size by doing this integer dot parse int to convert from string to integer. So let me go ahead and run this. Control S, Shift F6. It's going to ask me the size. I'm going to print something like seven. And let me see. And there you go. Let me go ahead and run this again. Print a size like five. There you go. So now we ask the user the size, and it prints. Now let's see what happens when you put even numbers. As you guys can see, there are some weird things happening when you put even numbers. You cannot use even numbers with this, so we have to make sure that the user enters only odd numbers. So if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know what you think about this. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.